Hello everybody, this is Timothy Dixon coming to you today. Thank you, Jesus. I have a, another word from the Lord here that's pretty, pretty strong. But let's go to the Lord in prayer here. And Lord, I ask you to bless our heart, bless our soul, open our ears and our eyes. Lord, in this time that we are in, Lord, we need you more than ever. In the precious name of Jesus. From the seashores of the West Coast, through the Cascade Mountains, Elk Mountain, the Shenandoah Valley and the Great Smoky Mountains, the Rio Bravo, the Gulf of Mexico, Hilton Islands, and the East Coast Carolina shores, from the Rockies and the Redwood Forest, across the Great Plains of Texas, through the Ohio Valley, the Tennessee River, and across the Great Flats of the Colorado, New York Harbor, Stanton Island, and the harbors of the New England states, my glory fills the earth. My name is the same, saith the Lord. My mercy endures forever. In the beginning of the creation, mankind, I walked with them in the cool of the day. Satan came and brought a division in the heart, and man fell. He fell from his place. But now are ye redeemed by the blood of the Lamb from this curse. There is now set before you an open door that no man can shut. But my anger is kindled at the abomination that is coming before me. As many times in the history of the past, I have come down to look and that others might know me as I am. My angels walking through the doorways of a portal between God and man. Many has not the knowledge that was given to the prophets of old. But mankind had failed a great falling a great falling away, and it's come now. Many that holds a political power has forgotten who I am. And in many cases where I've been, it's not a memory anymore. Is there anything too hard for me in the times of Noah? Mankind had reached a place where there was no conscience of their actions. And I destroyed man and beast, except those that went into the ark. Once again, the earth and all of my creation is mourning. Mourning the fall that has brought destruction. The earth mourns for my hand to visit. Daniel, the prophet, received a visitation from me of this day, of this day that has come up upon all the earth. No longer will I allow my people or my creation to be under this bondage. Many years have gone by, and the knowledge of a created word coming up in the lives of many and in the lives of my chosen and also them that has chosen me this final exodus it is at the door for eyes have not seen neither has it entered into the hearts of man that that I have stored up and prepared for him 
what I have prepared in this life before death shall shake the world as the rain descends upon both the good wheat the good seed it also descends on the bad wheat and the bad seed give ear to the to the sound the sound that's among you the sound that's among the mulberry trees for there is things that is present that cannot be seen by the carnal eye but can behold it in the spiritual realm there is a massive awakening taking place now as i prepare my people for the storm for there is a storm coming a storm upon the powers of darkness and all that will not forsake their evil ways that has been influenced by the powers of hell. Watch as I wrestle and rattle the seat and the very foundation of the Attorney General, Merrick Garland, your way in the balances and you are found wanting saith the Lord, repent and turn from this evil that you have sold your soul to and I will have mercy. But your heart has been darkened by the spirit of hate and greed that has caused you to forsake the people of whom you stand. Therefore, the ax is laid to the root of your tree and you will fall, saith the Lord. And direct to Christopher Ray. Your way in the balances as well, and you are found wanting, saith the Lord. Repent and turn from this evil that you have sold your soul to, and I will have mercy. But your heart has been darkened that you cannot see from where you have fallen. And special counsel, Jack Smith, you are weighing the balances and you are found wanting, saith the Lord of hosts. Repent, turn from your evil that you have sold yourself to and I will have mercy. But your heart has turned black from the evil that has took you and took you over, driven by a creed of hate for all of mankind. The ax is laid to the root of your tree and you will fall. As the darkness overtakes your soul and moves further into the eternity For the God that you serve, which is and is not, is the God of your darkened heart. Your health will fail you as the powers of darkness that you serve grips hold to your life and body, and you will fall. I therefore send a man and a woman that will come quickly and drain this cesspool of corruption. A new people shall stand where you will not, saith the Lord. Set your house in order, saith the Lord, for this night. Thy soul is required at your hands. This is the year that I will visit the tyrants of Washington as well as other countries. Do not turn a deaf ear to my counsel and let not your heart be hardened by the Lord of darkness for he has come with great wrath and will destroy many because he has a short time 
the earth is turning against. It's turning against the axis because of the evil and the unforsaken sins. Because that the earth has tilted on its axis, there will be strange things happening. The land will appear in the process of time that has been underwater. But on the other side of this vast seas, that land will flood and swallow the earth as my hands moves on the prophets and apostles to carry a people across this great divide I will turn your captivity and will pour out my healing all over this world and I will cause I will cause America to be freed from this chain of addictions as I send forth the fire of my baptism shall hit everyone that is crying out to me. Revival fires shall burn as the old times. Sanctuaries is raised up all across the world. My glory shall be poured out and the joy of the Lord will sweep this world. Fear not of the things that you see as if your enemy can even touch one hair of your head. I will keep my children. Great shall be the exodus from this bondage and the shock wave shall be on every tongue. I will break the chains and the yoke from off my people's neck. Deliver them, set them free, and forgive them of their sins. So I say rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for your redemption is now. Lift up your voices in a praise, saith the Lord of hosts. Lord, thank you for your word. Write to me at Post Office Box 417, Midland City, Alabama. Thank you, Jesus, and go to our website. We've got posted several meetings. Uh, we'll be going to Mac Allen, and uh, but we appreciate everything that everybody's doing. We thank God for it. Uh, and uh, the Mac Allen meeting it's be April the twelfth, thirteenth, and the fourteenth. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. But this is the year. This is the year that there's going to be a great hand of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We appreciate you. And we pray that you, you, you remain well and blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We love you. We appreciate you. God bless you is our prayers. Bye-bye.